Good morning. Welcome to another Spotlight, Business Spotlight. I have Naeem today. And Naeem, how are you doing today? I'm doing well, Tony. Thank you for asking. Absolutely. So tell us a little bit about your business, what you do, and how long you've been in business. So I've been in business, my first business or this business? Yes. Mm -hmm. this, this business here. Got it. So I've been in business since 2006, and um, I got into the payment space uh, because I was looking through um, to achieving, to, to creating a portfolio that was residual based. Okay. Um, that will give me, you know, as a salesperson, right? Because uh, that's, that's my skill set. As a salesperson, you're always having to sell your next deal. Mm -hmm. You, know, you, you continuously have new targets that you're looking to achieve on a month-to-month -month basis. Mm -hmm. And what I liked about the payment space was that it allowed you to build a portfolio, right? It allowed you to sell in a consultative way mm -hmm. and build a portfolio of clients that paid you without you having to go back out and sell again. Mm -hmm. And, it, you know, so I was looking for a residual-based business and I landed on payment processing. Uh, and I've been in that business since 2006. Wow. Okay. That's awesome. I love that. So how can somebody get to your internet site or to you? So somebody can get to us by going to www.paisley.com. That's our site. Uh, okay. And they can get to me just by either calling us here at the office and asking for me. Um, or emailing uh, in the queue directly and, you know, be directed back at me. Okay, awesome. Cool. So who's a great uh, customer for you? Who's your best customer? So we have several different customers. When we talk about customers, we, we go direct to merchants. Okay. That's considered a customer for us. But a bigger customer for us are the salespeople that we recruit, right? Because in the same way that I built my business from 2006 until up until this point, mm -hmm. we also curate that within others that are looking to do the same. So we have a partner channel that we bring into our pipeline and help them achieve similar success uh, that I have been able to achieve myself. And you know that's the bigger customer for me because that, that, that's where my passion lies, Tony. Mm -hmm. I love growing uh, great salespeople that want to build a business but don't want to do it alone. Got it. I love that. I love that. So what were some of the changes that you've seen in the last couple of years with everything that's been going on? Yeah, a ton of changes. Mm -hmm. so about two years ago, we made the decision as an organization to build technology. And that could not have come at, the, at a worse time, mm. uh, given COVID-19. Uh, so we actually made the decision about two and a half years ago. Uh, and we actually branded, rebranded our company. Mm -hmm. So it's Traditionally, we've operated as Card Connect of Florida. And around two years ago, we rebranded to Paisley. What okay. Paisley is, what Paisley is a technology company that you know, has built payment industry technology uh, that is merchant focused, that is partner focused, and that is bank focused. Um, and the challenges that we had there, Tony, I'm sure you've heard from other technology companies is you know, the talent pool, the, the talent pool just dissipated because mm -hmm. of COVID-19 and the whole uh, infrastructure and hiring people and hiring the right talent just changed significantly. Right, right. So you uh, switched, got into the technology piece for the merchant and the bank and uh, these folks. Have you kept that in place? Uh, how has that kind of uh, looked like? Yeah. Okay. So, so we've had to um, reformulate our approach. You, you know, we have to, as as a smaller organization, is what I would consider us, uh, we're nimble enough that we could move with the waves, and that's exactly what we did. And you know, what we've landed on is a great team of developers that you know have predominantly completed the build of all of the products given all of the challenges that we've had. I love that. That's great. It's it's always neat to see business owners when uh, things change, you know, 
uh, they come up with really cool things, right? To, to get through that change. Um, and I love that. And that's a luxury that, you know, an organization like us has that larger organizations don't. So when you're talking payments, you, you know, we're dealing with organizations that have been around, you know, this is not an old industry that has been around since the early 80s doing and operating the same way that they've operated back then on technology that was antiquated from those days. Mm -hmm. um, so for them to make decisions, you know, they, there's a lot of considerations that they have to make. Yeah. Uh, a company like us, it, you know, it's well managed, it's tightly controlled. You know, when we're making decisions, it's real time decisions and, and we can move with the market pretty quickly. So that's yeah. an advantage that a company like us has that, it, you know, the larger organizations such as Pfizer and the likes don't. Right, right, right. Um, so it's like being a speedboat compared to a large, yeah. you know, luxury liner. It takes forever to move, right? Exactly. That's exactly. <laughs> that I, we use that example all the time. Yeah, it's a great example, and it's really powerful. Uh, it really does make a difference, and your customer really benefits from it. What is the biggest learning that you've had since you've become a business owner? So I would have to say it's, it's mindset. Okay. Uh, for me, everything goes back to a mindset. Um, and, and mindset is a tricky thing, right? Because we don't know what we don't know. Sometimes right. uh, we're oblivious to what our true mindset is mm. you know, until we begin to listen to that voice in the back of our head say, you can't do this, you can't do that. And it's things that we probably learned at a young age mm -hmm. um, that actually holds us in our place. It's like an anchor. It mm -hmm. anchors us in and it doesn't allow us to, you, you know, break through to that next level. Mm -hmm. you know, I've, I've been lucky enough to work with some of the world's most renowned coaches. Uh, Bob Proctor was the, the last person I worked with. And I worked wow. with him for about a couple of years. And I really got to understand, like, look, everything is mindset, right? Mm -hmm. As a human being you know, everything revolves around mindset, and especially when you're an entrepreneur, because when you're an entrepreneur, you, you know, many people say, I'd love to go into business, right? right? But they don't, they, they don't understand what the meaning, what that means, right? right? When I grow a business, it's like growing an individual that is going to have an impact on many, many people, right? right? So your mindset as an entrepreneur gets baked into that organization. Absolutely. Right? It gets baked into the way that you support your people. It gets, mm -hmm. it gets baked into the way that you service your merchants. It gets baked into the way that you develop your products. Right. Mm -hmm. And to me personally, you know, the, the biggest takeaway that I say I've had since I started my journey in business is, you know, understanding myself. Yeah, a deeper yeah. level. I love that. And you're right. Um, you know, with the, the mindset, you can, you know, change the world or you can sit in the corner and do nothing. Exactly. And so that's the key, 100%. Do you have anything coming up, any kind of um, um, events coming up that we should be aware of or, you know, offers? So we have a pretty big launch coming in um, March, end of quarter one of next year. Okay. Uh, so one of the things that we're doing that's unique to our industry, Tony, and I'm not sure how much you know about our industry, but, you know, we've chosen a new path. You know, the COVID was a blessing and a curse, mm -hmm. right, in many ways. And for us, it's it was more of a blessing than a curse. Uh, you, you know, we began to look for solutions that kind of didn't exist because people d during COVID days, you know, even large organizations, the smart ones, you know, took a step back and said, okay, how can we utilize this time in order to recreate ourselves? Right. Right. And one of those organizations is Visa. Visa truly did a great job at this. And because of that, they rolled out a couple of new programs that, you know, we're, we're lucky enough to be part of. Um, and, it, you know, we're nearing the completion of, uh, you know, getting ready to support, you, you know, the systems that Visa have created. 
Mm -hmm. um, so that will be ready to go in, in March, uh, late March of uh, 2023. So that's right. a big effort for us. Uh, we've been at this for about a year and a half. Oh, wow. And we're nearing completion and we're excited uh, to roll out our partnership with Visa. That is so great. I love that. I appreciate you sharing it. Um, I got to ask you, what inspires you and keeps you motivated, Naeem? Uh, I'm, I'm a man of God, Tony. You know, like God to me is, uh, you, you know, I know it's like at times this is a subject that people don't like to talk about, but, you know, I always like to remind myself and humble myself because there's a greater power at work. Mm -hmm. And I'm really motivated by that. I'm really motivated by that. And I'm extremely motivated by the blessings that I get through God. Um, you know, starting with my family, a wife and two beautiful kids that give me enough motivation. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, just focusing on those two things, you, you know, really motivates me to, to, to create and create in big ways. Yeah, I love that. I love that. Well, I appreciate you being here. Uh, again, I want to uh, thank everyone for being a part of this uh, business spotlight. I am Tony Tono with Action Coach. Tampa Bay, have a super one, and we'll see you next time. Thank Bye. you, Tony. Take care.